I've got some Hello Summer Sweet Watermelon Dog Tree DIYs for you today. And I've got them displayed right now in my bathroom alongside some previous projects that I've completed, but I'm excited to share, so let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. All right, before I start DIY number one, I got this little cutting board at Dollar Tree, and I like the size and the shape so much that I'm making myself a pattern because, you know, like when you go back to Dollar Tree and you really want to get that piece and it's not there, well, now I have a pattern I can make my own if I need to. But I'm going to do some easy Mod Podge. I'm pretty sure I got these napkins from Dollar Tree, and I started to do a different method where you Mod Podge it on, and while the Mod Podge is still wet, you take like a match or whatever and you light it on fire you light the napkin on fire and then it kind of burns itself off like the edges or whatever i'm not explaining that well anyway i felt like that was a little bit um excessive <laughs> so i am just mod podging it on and i'm slowly pressing as you can kind of see and i'm just going to let that dry and did i tell you i got i think i got these napkins from dollar tree Anyways, I'm trimming off the edges. And then I'm taking some green paint because I kind of wanted to blend it a little bit more at the bottom and make it look more like, I guess, less decoupage. And then I just take my finger sander and this is how I clean up all those edges. It is so, it is so easy to do this, y'all. You just take the finger sander or just like a regular block sander or just a piece of sanding paper and you just kind of go on the edges and I'm cleaning that up there at the handle because I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with that and I didn't need it to go all the way up to the top and we're going to be adding some jute twine to the handle and I left the back of it blank because if y'all know me I love to do double-sided signs and I didn't want to put really anything on the back just yet because I'm not exactly sure what I want to put back there. I think I'm thinking of doing a sunflower video. So if y'all want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, so I'm just carefully wrapping this jute twine around and that's how I'm going to cover up the handle. And I realized I didn't get like just a picture of the <laughs> project by itself, but there it is. It's on a shelf in my bathroom and I think it turned out super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. My sweet, sweet friend, Ellie from DIY from House to Home, hosted this open invite playlist today, and I'm just so thankful for her. She is such an encourager, and she really makes some cute projects, so I'm going to have a link to her channel as well as a playlist in the description box below. I really do hope you check it out. For DIY number two, I got these little round wood circles from Hobby Lobby. They were not on sale. I could not find like a section of the store where they would be on sale. These were not on sale, but I am cutting two of them in half and then I'm going to leave three of them just as a little circle. And I think they're about one inch big, I guess, something like that. Um, they're not like super large, but anyway, I'm cutting them in half and I'm just using a little craft knife there. And then the, um, I used some masking tape and I put it sticky side up and then I put the wood pieces on there and that holds it on there while you're trying to paint so you're not having to hold it and then smudging the paint and all that kind of stuff. I did a base coat of a lighter green color and then um, on the big ones and then on the little ones I'm doing like the little I guess like notching. I don't know how to explain what I just did here but because it's it's you can't see it that well but I just put like little dashes of paint around and then I'm going to go in with a dark color. You see me doing that there to kind of fill in the spots and I'm trying to blend it. I don't want it like necessarily stark, you know, defined lines. I want it all to blend. And on the big circles, I am trying to create the watermelon rind lines that you would normally see. And again, trying to blend it in, not being super precise with it because I want it to look natural, organic. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still learning how to paint. Like I, I watch Cher, Sarah from GGB DIY and Monica from Late Night um, Creations and they're just awesome at painting. I'm not quite here, there yet. Okay, now I'm doing the watermelon part and I'm using watermelon color paint. I think it's folk art. And I'm just kind of going on the inside, meeting up to where the green part happens. And of course, I'm only painting the little half parts because the whole watermelon, you're not going to see the inside of the rind. 
I mean, the, not the inside of the rind, the inside of the, you're not going to see the, the um, watermelon part of the watermelon. That didn't make sense. You know what I mean? And I did the same kind of technique or approach in my last watermelon video. And I'm taking some white craft paint and I'm making squiggly lines where the green meets the watermelon color. And I'm doing that for all of the little half pieces. And um, I finally put it on my little turntable thing that I got from Target, the dollar spot, because it just makes it easier to like turn and flip things without really moving anything, if that makes sense. And so anyway, I'm just putting those little, um, little squiggly lines there to separate the watermelon color <laughs> from the green color. And then I'm going in with a black paint pen and I'm adding little kind of like dots for the seeds, not being exact or, you know, precise or anything like that. Here's where I mess up, y'all. So I'm putting this on a garland because I want it to kind of hang from, from the garland. <laughs> and, um, what I should have done is like, I'm like making this way too complicated, but I was gluing it on, but you see, I glued it in the middle. Mm -mm. No, no, don't do that. Glue it towards the top because the, the piece is not weighted in any way and it's just going to flip and turn on you and it's going to be really hard to keep it with all the pieces facing the same way. So don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> and if you recreate this project, make sure that you glue your garland twine to the top of the piece so that it hang, hangs better. And this is what I mean. I had to actually put some masking tape behind there so that it would like not twist and turn, but I think it turned out really cute. I just, I like how the big watermelons turned out. I like how the little half slices turned out. I think it looks super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, y'all, it's the last DIY. This is DIY number three, and I took this Easter thing, and I don't know when I got that, but it's from Dollar Tree, and I let that soak on there, and this total, this part here, total, it took me about 10 minutes. I let it soak, soak, soak. I don't know why I let that footage of it soaking, but um, as you can see, I just take my little scraper tool thing. Oh, I was telling you how many minutes I was at at that point. Anyway, so then I just scrape it off, and I do try to sand it a little bit, before I paint it. And I'm just painting it with white book art paint in the color plaster probably. And um, I'm just giving it a really good coat, trying to not go, you know, just go right up to the edges. I'm not trying to be messy with it or anything, trying to be neat. And so yeah, just gave it a coat of paint. Then I used my Cricut, see that little slicer tool? What I'm doing is I'm pulling off where the Hello Summer was, but I had used my slicer to keep that top portion on there and just be able to pull off that bottom portion because I wanted it to be spaced the way it was when I made the decal, but I'm going to use this top part as a stencil. And so I reuse my expressions, final paper transfer tape. I reuse it until it just cannot be reused anymore. And I put it on the paper transfer tape, and then I'm going to transfer that to the sign. And I try to, you know, I try to center it, but I just measure with my heart. So that's how that goes. <laughs> then I'm taking some more plaster paint and I'm daubing, dabbing, daubing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm painting over where the sunglasses are because that way, when I go back in and paint, that's going to help it not bleed or, you know, run over or anything. Then I'm taking several colors of green, three colors to be exact. And I'm going around and kind of in like a dash motion and I'm just making little marks all the way around where the rim of the glasses is. So that way this is going to mimic the rind of the watermelon. And I was trying to make it so it wasn't like one color, just plain, blah, blah, blah. I was trying to make it like cute and stuff. So then I'm pulling off. I, I was using permanent vinyl, which is not the best thing, but that's all I had. And then I'm taking this maze color, which is my absolute new favorite color by Waverly. And I'm making little dashes all around the edge. And I go over this, I think probably two or three times just to make sure that, you know, it, it looks good and it's a, a deep enough, dark enough color. I didn't really want to go with a brighter color. So anyway, I wanted to use maize because I really like maize. Then I took vivid pink and the watermelon color, and I'm doing the inside of the glasses. I was just trying, I was trying a couple different techniques and at any rate, it's <laughs> didn't turn out how it was going to turn out in my head, but I'm just going around trying to blend colors, not 
again, I'm not trying for one solid plain color. I'm trying to get some different, you know, like um, shades of it in there. And so I go all the way around. I go back in with the watermelon color because that was too pink. I didn't want it that pink, but you'll see how it turns out. And I do go back in with some, oh, here's me still painting the watermelon color. You already seen that. Why, why did we leave this in here, Lisa? I don't know. <laughs> I do take a black paint pen and I make, you know, little seeds because it's watermelon. This watermelon has seeds. I know some don't, but mine does. And then I'm taking a really like detailed paintbrush. Well, actually I try two or three of them until I get the one I want. And I'm just adding a little bit of highlight with the white or the plaster color that I was using before just to kind of, again, so it's just not plain. And this is how it turned out. And those are some other projects that I did in a previous video. I can link that below for y'all, but I like how it turned out. I think it looks super cute and um, it looks fun. And I just really like the colors. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That is it for today's video, y'all. Um, see that summer sign? I just, I really, really like the watermelon color with the greens that I used and I just think those are just a, a nice pop of color and they look fresh to me. So again, I will link that other video with the other projects that you see here in my bathroom. I'll link that below, but this is how my projects turned out for today. Super cute. I really like them and I hope you do too. And I just appreciate y'all so much for joining me and, you know, watching my videos when I post them. I try to post something new every single week and I really just appreciate y'all stopping by my channel. And if you haven't already, I'd, I'd love it if you'd subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I've got a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. That's linked down below as well as the host for today's playlist, Ellie from DIY from House to Home. And yeah, lots of fun in the description box. So after you're done watching the video, check that out. And don't forget if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram, or on TikTok where I do other fun stuff besides just crafty stuff. Um, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.